about him, rather. Is he, why wasn't he buried in the St. John Cemetery? Is he still there? And as I read on, I became more interested. Born 1845, died 1881. That means that he was 36 when he died. That's always interesting. Why did he die? Hopkinton resident Mary Kanias presented at the Hopkinton Historical Society. Um, I've lived in Hopkinton for nearly 18 years. Her presentation was entitled Stones, Pennies, and Prayers, the Heroic Origins of St. John the Evangelist. Oh, well, my presentation is about the history of the parish of St. John's, and in particular, Father Ryan and Father Murphy, who made St. John's possible. A public calamity. This is the whole town being affected. The bell that was uh, ringing was that, that bell you hear now day and um, we have here the report from the St. Louis Hospital, the note that indeed he had died there. Mary mentioned that she also wrote a book about St. John's with proceeds going towards restoration. Um, first of all, I had always been curious about the beginnings of St. John's and in particular a plaque that announced that he was buried in the sanctuary of the Lower Church of St. John's. I wondered who this man was and why he had been buried there and, and why he had died at such a young age. But also the um, anniversary, the 150th anniversary of St. John's came upon us last year. And in respect to that, I thought it was important that I find out what I could and, and educate the parish as much as possible. The little Methodist church across the street and then on the far side, you see the old Orthodox Church and that beautiful factory with the tower that I pointed out. And they face each other. There's a dialogue going on. There's a possible opposition occurring between them. And that old Orthodox Church, which represented the Puritan foundations of our town, is nearly eclipsed by the industrial age and the materialism that it introduced and in the middle are no doubt mansions and cottages and workers and shoe, little shoe factories. So quite a step has been taken in, in this short number of years in this, in this chapter of our history. I, um, I had written my own notes and, and formed it into a story. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. and. Um, and then a very generous sponsor came forward and, and coincidentally said that um, she and her husband would like to support a, the publication of a history of St. John's. And there I, I had one ready. And uh, so it went ahead and bespoke publishers were um, happy to come forward and do the work. And it's a beautiful book. It's um, available through St. John's Church office. Uh, a $20 donation towards the restoration of the interior of the upper church. I asked Mary if she plans on doing research in the future on more Hopkinton related history. Well, it certainly has whetted my um, appetite for research and the more I do, the more I want to do and the more I know how much is lacking in what I have done. So. Um, I hope to continue to work on it and share what I learned with the, the parish and anyone who's interested.